Alrighty, here we go. Top eight, Rashid versus Karen. A matchup you guys will probably love to watch. We see this matchup a lot, and I know a lot of you guys are already thinking, dude, we watch this match all the time. Why are you gonna play this match, et cetera, et cetera. Look, man, it's important. It's, it's a good match between two good players. It's not even that long of a match, right? It's five minutes long. And not only that, I gotta watch it because this is my job to commentate these two characters, and commentate these two characters I shall. That's dizzy, damn. Stand medium kick. This is a good setup. So if, you, if you've ever seen this setup before, after a stun from Rashid, standing medium kick whiff pulls him forward. You do the heavy whirlwind shot, and then this roll into the EX uh, eagle spike. This eagle spike is enhanced. It's enhanced by the whirlwind shot, which means that it gets the ability to flip out after. You see that? Wow, are you fucking serious? <laughs> That was pretty rough. That was uh, that was pretty sad for Phenom. I feel bad for him a little bit. His Karen is pretty solid though, to be honest with you. I like watching his Karen a lot, and I think this character gives him like the better ability to just chill. You know, everybody's always like, man, his Nikali is like jump or dash or whatever, and then you watch his Karen and realize like, oh shit, if you actually give him buttons that he can play on the ground with, his ground game is actually good. <laughs> Do you get different Oki if you do medium spinning mixer? Then heavy? I'm not sure how different the Oki timing is, to be honest with you. Overhead? Nice. I think if he went wall jump there, it probably wouldn't have been that scary. Yeah, he whiffed the jab and still had time to block the V reversal. Yeah, you're dead. One thing about Big Bird is that anytime you knock him down with anything that's not like super plus, he loves, loves, loves back tech or quick rise standing heavy punch. Loves it. It's a big priority button, and if you try to walk up and steal some turns, or you get antsy here, he loves, loves, loves this. Oh my god, Mr. Lawyer, shut the fuck up. I feel bad for my YouTube viewers. They probably don't know who Mr. Lawyer is. But Mr. Lawyer for the YouTube viewers comes into my stream every time the big knob drops the two months. Thanks very much. The YouTube viewers don't know Mr. Lawyer. They live a, a better life. But Mr. Lawyer comes into every time. Every time I do match analysis and Rashid is on the screen, he comes in and he explains to the chat room how Rashid is bottom five at, well, at best. Nice punish. Counter hit combo? No! I think that's plus four on counter hit, actually. I think he gets standing jab mixer. Mr. Lawyer would know, right? He's an expert. I like backdash setup there. Wow, word? That was fucking fucked. He did roundhouse. This is minus four, but the whirlwind's here, so he just does the EX uppercut after. Ends it early so he can get the cross up mix up. Damn. That was fucked up. Yeah, Big Bird is so creative. That's the thing about him that I love. It's like, that's such a Big Bird thing to do, too, right? Like, that is, yeah, he's very particular in how he plays this character. Damn, he tried to buffer the standing light kick, or tried to do standing light kick cancel into the light mixer and it came out anyway. That happens a lot, I feel like, but light mixer is one of those things that like, if you accidentally get light mixer, it's never the end of the world, right? As long as you don't extend it, it's safe. Throws the V reversal. Phenom's been V reversaling there so much. Oh, that was in the front? Damn. Yeah, I mean, the thing is about, uh, what's it called? The thing is about this this um, character Rashid is not only does he corner people really quickly, 
but he leaves the corner so easily. He is such a scary character because like without good options to, there we go, that's a much better combo. Last time he got standing like again to nothing. Without uh, better options to, yeah, and he punishes jump out so well. Without options to keep him in the corner, he's so good. EX, 50-50. Damn, he got shot. Mr. Lawyer said that on Topanga TV, they said Rashid is top seven or eight at best. Interesting. Back throw. That was clean. I think that beat the wake up jab too. I looked over at the chat when it happened, but I thought I saw one. You know, I could also just say something and, uh, you know, it could be, what, what if like they said he's top seven or eight and then somebody else said he's top one? Like, who should we believe? The guy that has Rashid lower or higher? Yeah, the whirlwind, sh the whirlwind shot uh, off the dizzy into the enhanced eagle spike is really good. Particularly because like, you know, it's one of those things where like, if you know you're not gonna kill, it leaves you in a great spot. Counter hit, you gotta watch the side switch. Oh, it was a little, the way it hit was a little too late, I think, for him to combo. At least with the EX. That's when I think Whirlwind Shot hits the most, by the way. I think the best time to do Whirlwind Shot is not off of a cancel. It's just to do it raw like this, and it catches people jumping or hitting buttons a lot. I think if you cancel it off buttons, it's much easier to interrupt it. Because it's like, you expect it, right? You're used to the timing. Corners himself, doesn't matter. Smoke. That is the thing about Rashid. He corners himself here, but as soon as he cl uh, clings to this wall, you don't know if he's gonna go down or if he's just gonna like fall back, right? When he's jumping back, you can't really see if it's gonna be horse humans time to drop the big Twitch Prime. You don't know if he's just gonna like jump back land or if he's gonna do jump back wall cling there or there. And sniping both as we saw earlier in the set is not easy. Man, that was a cleanup from Big Bird. You have to remember though the way, the way he was playing this weekend. I don't know. Nobody could stop him, obviously, right? Not just Phenom. Look, you have to understand, Mr. Lawyer. The reason people don't like it when you say Rashid is not that good is because it's not true. If at worst he's seventh or eighth in the game, right? According to them, at worst he's a really fucking good character. If Tokido mains Rashid, they won't complain. Hell fucking yeah, they would. Akuma's cheap as fuck. I don't care. If, why do you think Tokido is playing Akuma since the dawn of time? He plays cheap-ass characters like Akuma. And when you're playing a, a player this good and you're a player this good, playing a good character is really helpful. Most of the good players play strong characters. Tokido is a notorious tier whore. Of course people are going to say the characters he plays are cheap. Notorious.